So we can either... Okay. Could also hire mercenaries. Could work with crime people or admiralty. It's what passes for a government around here, but they comport themselves more like an occupying army. Uh, don't expect to make a lot of friends amongst the people if you pick this side. Run afoul of the law. Picking sides. Oslo. Spot a young Kodeshi is sitting at the desk. She doesn't look like your average officer, though. Her uniform has a modified fit, and her boots are too slick for requisition. You, oh, Ulu, not Oslo. I'm Sel. Fish mentioned we might be able to help each other out. You're the bounty hunter, then. I've been waiting to meet someone with just your particular set of skills. You want Kashio dead, and just so happens I do, too. Do me a solid, and I'll get you where you need to be to make it happen. Play by my rules, and the killing blow will be yours, I promise. So what do you say? Sure. I'm in, but if I end up taking the fall... So you can get a promotion or whatever. Please, if anything goes wrong, it'll be your own fault. I promise. Oh, good. I was worried you wouldn't have anything re reassuring to say. First up, you'll need this. Take it. What is it? Admiralty card. Oh. Draw two cards and gain an action. Expend. Or at the end of your turn, deal one damage to a random opponent for every stack of influence. Expend. That's really good, but alas, I'm not going Diplomacy anymore. Diplomacy is dead. It is now fighting time. Folks here take any edge they can get. If you can't compete, you're Surf Slime. Consider this your deputy's badge. Good for my favorite investment. Sounds extremely suspicious. Impossible. I'm wearing a badge. Alright, so where do I start? Would be a good use of your time. One of our patrols is ambushed as per usual. Uh, and as per usual, the spree took a hostage, an officer by the name of Feldspar. I know the spree scum who ordered it. They're going to press him for information, and unfortunately he's got more than enough to spill. I want the mess cleaned up. Is this a rescue or a hit? Eh, use your discretion. A rescue of Feldspar deserves it. Otherwise, like I said, clean up. Alright. And potentially a graph. Giving you a license to solve this however you see fit, but that's a lot of responsibility. Don't get mad. I don't get mad, just disappointed. Ugh, that's worse. Snap to it, Hunter. Do me proud. Got it? Now scoot. I got schemes to incubate. Plots to hatch. Leave no one behind. You find the bandits' hideout easily enough, and you settle yourself between two rocks, a smudge of lichen, watching and waiting. Two thugs, clearly spree, emerge from the hideout, rubbing what seems to be blood from their hands. If Feldspar refuses to talk, why do we gotta pull pull his nails out? Let's just bleed him out and move on. You wanna tell Nadan he should give up on the auction too? Just keep your head down or he'll give you a grin to match his own. Word is we're passing the switch on to an expert investigator, er, interrogator anyway. A piercing scream erupts from the shack. Both spree wins. I gotta make sure they don't kill him. You keep an eye out. The screams might attract a hungry yote. The remaining bandit is left to ponder her work. Confront or attack T. We have event a first strike and a bonus action on the first turn. Hello! Alright. More lethality. Okay. Tragically. They started with me with a lot of defensive cards, which is not the most useful. And now she's fighting me. Good stuff. Okay. This is kind of rough. As I'm going to take a hit. Boy, howdy. Combo, power, expend, defense, expend. Go for the Enrage. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything about this anyway. I'm just going to have to eat the hit. Luckily, I've got a little bit of healing. Ow! Okay, and she's going to hit the droid. Well, at least that's kind of nice. Okay, so we've got Gut Shot. I only have one combo. 
So now I could do sneak attack if I wanted to. Uh, let's see, revved up. Yeah, how aggressive do I want to play? Actually pretty aggressive here. Let's see. I think I should just be able to kill her. Uppercut. Here. Merc hates you. Kill their friend. Pin a random card at the start of battle. Well, that's okay. So that's what ha happens when you kill a person. Eh, that's fine. Discard two cards, attack a random enemy. Gain two defense, discard this card, gain two defense and counter. Or, at the start of your turn, draw an additional card if you have at least two combo. I like Murder Bay Boxing. During the commotion, the other spree thug lurches out of the shack, ready for a fight. What'd you do to T? She tripped on my knife. You want to be careful. The ground here is treacherous. Unfortunately, Merc doesn't like your warning. Well... Play this card to return prototype drone to your hand. Rude. Okay. Let's just roll with that. Alright, so he's hitting me for an amount. It's quite dirty. See, do we do another impair or let's scrounge? Burn some of these. So, take less damage or hit him with a bedlam. Let's just hit him with a bedlam. I need more. I need way more energy in combat. Oh well. Yeah, time to get rid of a grudge. No kidding. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not generating nearly enough combo here. Get him with that. And then carve. Oh. Cancel. Uh, I guess I'll just do this. It's not going to help me. Okay, there's pinned. Well, that's rough. I'm just going to avoid the damage. Okay, he's hitting me again. Do we do the daggers? Go for that. So here's the question. I've still got some energy. We could get the combo for the next turn. Or we could just hit him with a bedlam. Let's carve. Gut shot. Bedlam. Just burn that. And execute him. Well, that worked out. Okay. And that didn't make anybody mad, maybe. Expend Ambush. And it's a nice start. Uh, let's see. We could get another Tackle. I like Tackle. But I kind of like Silent Steel. Just quick opening move, cheap, gives room for everything else. Yeah, let's go Silent Steel. Okay, fight dirty. Improvise plus. One of five cards or upgraded. Let's go for the upgraded version. I like the extra options, but oh well. Another makeshift dagger. Reputation for violence. Dangerous. When this is in your hand, hostility cards deal one bonus damage and diplomacy cards deal one less. That's fine. It's frankly fine. 
Notice as Merc falls, the soil is already slick with blood. Bruce, maybe the shack was will be more hospitable. You enter the shack and find Feldspar strapped, his limbs rubbed raw from struggling. You free him, and he climbs Buku to his feet. Biaku. I don't know who you are, but it looks... If it looks like a rescue and acts like a rescue... The sheep, yeah. Then I guess that's what it is. Ulu sent me. You look pretty rough. I'm tougher than I look. I can make to he make it back to headquarters from here. Cover my exit if you can manage it. Make sure to kill a few more for me. He loves me. Bonus defense on all cards that apply defense. I love you back, Feldspar. Alright, leave no one behind. Well, we don't have much else, and we actually didn't take too much damage there, shockingly. As you're passing by a bubbling tar pit, you hear a high-pitched whine from somewhere nearby. Looking around, you spot a lone coyote pup struggling in the clotted black mud. Rescue it. Helps you in battle, but only has minor effect on negotiations. Sure. You anchor yourself to a nearby stump before stepping carefully onto the tar. Freeing the pup is a labor, and you choke down the sour of the tar pit under the exertion. Back on dry land, the pup finds a clean patch of skin above your brow to lick with its scratchy tongue. I got a dag. The pup cocks its head in concern. Nah, it's fine. Just make sure to keep it to yourself next time. Yorp. I got dog. Norp. <laughs> Gasket has joined the party. Probably permanently. Okay, so we might want to swing by the Grog and Dog. I fight a lot. Heals 30, though. No, let's, um... Let's go after the whatever the next encounter is. So this is this a roguelite or not? Yeah, it is. That's what brings you back. Get paid. You're right, Feldspar was alive when I got there, and the spree were trying to get intel out of him. We got him out, though, and it sounds like he never talked. Yep, he reported back as soon as you got here. He looks sincere enough when he pledges his undying loyalty. My mentor would have told him to run through a series of increasingly alienating mind games to really test his commitment. But that sounds like a lot of work to me, and ultimately I don't really have much use for a soldier who's that inflexible anyway. You run a very strange operation, Ulo. Well, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have been willing to work with you. Fair point. 210 shills, hell yeah. Craft. Okay. Battle graft. Two power at the start of every battle. Lose the first time you take enemy damage. Now, let's go composure on all arguments. I need some slots. Done for the day. But this is an exclusive arrangement. If you have other work that Dean's doing, go for it. Well, the job's done. You can tell Fish she was right. Your suit... You'll suit my needs just fine. That's it? You must have more work for me. Points for enthusiasm, but cool your jets, Hunter. We don't want to ruin a good thing. Go be a hunter. Do whatever hunters do. Collateral always makes a job easier. I'll send word to Fish when I'm ready to work with you again. Alright, so we have Spar with Feldspar. A healing spring. And a market. Well. Upgrade one of your battle cards will cost some health. Though. That's not the worst idea in the world, though. Because we could upgrade one of my rare, rarer cards. Specifically, like, follow through. Because I can't upgrade the prototype drone. What about Murder Bay Boxing? Maybe. And I can't upgrade that further. What else would I upgrade? I kind of wish you could keep upgrading the cards. I understand why it, it caps out at two, but it'd be really cool if you kept if you could keep going. Yeah, let's do this. Feldspar is happy to see you. You like throwing down? I have a new move I want to try out. Oh. He only lets me upgrade one. So the question is, do we upgrade Silent Steel? 
or sneak attack. The thing is, well, yeah, both of them are fair ways off. So tall sneak attack. Would do 12 damage. Silent Steel could do 8. Let's go Silent Steel. Sure, try to keep up though, eh? You and Feldspar spar for a while, both pulling your punches because you, cause you've got the luxury. Trade tips as you trade blows. Now that was a good work sh workout. Gonna feel it for days. That's how you know is a good one. Thanks for the match, Feldspar. All right, so we also still have the roadside market. Not that I, oh, it's this. Okay, that's fine. Kind of different people, kind of. They at least move. So what graphs does she have? Whenever you break defense with an attack, apply two bleed and gain four defense. That's not bad. Whenever you shuffle your deck, gain power. Ooh. Kind of pricey. Okay. So both of these are going to hurt a lot. I'm almost thinking we just go for the slots. Oh, damn it. I don't actually have enough HP. Well, what negotiation graphs does she have? Start of your turn, steal up to four composure from an enemy argument. I mean, Cludger ain't terrible. Thing is, I don't negotiate much. Now nah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wait. Uh, here's the thing. I'm, I might even be able to go back. Oh, you think you'd be used to constant interruptions, but you're still surprised when a stranger approaches out of the sh shadows. That's a fairing grifter. Fancy a taste of your metal? I usually go for random brawls unless I'm getting paid for it. Not that kind of test, Hunter. That's metal with a capital M. Only some Haveri are fit to wield it. Ask about metal. What do you mean by metal? It's the only currency truly native to the Griftlands. Exert your influence and you will draw in metal as you draw breath. Uh-huh. Sounds like nonsense. Your skepticism serves you well in combat, but not here. Here, find this shrine. See for yourself. Pulls out a map, points to a location that's seemingly just a cave. And take this to get started. You'll soon see what I mean. Gain five metal. All right. Five metals spent on upgrades, two to spend on flourishes. All right, let's go take a peek. Did you seek me out to recommend your own store? You, you've heard of word of mouth advertising, haven't you? Just have a look at my wares. I think you'll agree it's a solid recommendation. So I can spend money on metal points, unlock flourishes. Let's take a look. Oh, so this is the meta progression. Boy, howdy. Gets kind of expensive, though. I like the max health of pets. I like these. I mean, really, I, I like a lot of these. That said, not the most useful right now, as I am very poor. Okay, what about flourishes? Okay, battle flourishes. I think we're just going to have to earn these as we go along. Because... Realistically, when it boils down to it, many of these are just going to be too expensive for me. I think the ones I would want would straight up be the flourish gains would be really helpful. Um, 
Probably restore health when eating and drinking. Also restore resolve and health after every battle and negotiation. Those would be really good. So are they permanent through the whole game or just for the run? I think they're permanent for the whole game. But yeah, I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough metal. I could be very wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Pull up a seat. That stool is not too soggy. So, you and... Are you and Ulo as chummy as a tin of bogworms now? She's clever, but I think she'll... She'd sell me up the river the second I weighed her down, weighed down her canoe. Yeah? Well, then you two have that in common. Just stay on her good side and I'll... Uh, she'll stay on yours. Okay. I'm gonna try resting in the back. Okay. So, someone came in looking for you earlier. They didn't look friendly. Maybe sleep with one eye open tonight, huh? My biggest fear is that I'm pretty wounded. And that if I do get attacked by the assassin, which I think I, I get attacked by, I'd have 15 HP before I get wrecked. You know what? We're going to do it anyway. Head to bed. Something's not right. In the dim light, some of the shadows look darker than usual. Who's there? Figure steps out of the shadows, heavily armed. If it thinks like an assassin and slinks like an assassin, demoralize him before attacking. Alpha, can pull it off. Do you even know who you're working for? Caring isn't part of the do job description. Maybe you should reevaluate that. Cashio ain't like the other clients. Okay. Okay. So what's existential crises? Ah, increase its fighting meter. While this is in your hand, hostility cards deal one bonus damage and diplomacy cards do less. Okay. So more composure. Deploy base. Bonus action next turn. Let's just do that. I'm gonna do Bupkis for damage. Kind of rough. But I'm not really expecting to win this one. He just negotiated my dog into oblivion. Okay, let's do a duplicity. Followed by pure style. Very convincing. Gets me another action. Okay, what else do we have? Get some dominance. Uh, let's see. Take a look. So I don't know what he's up to, which is a bit of a concern. Okay, I might as well just do fast talk, get rid of that. Okay. So I also have a flourish here. Let's do it. Dismiss all enemy intents. Okay, so now he's not going to do anything to me, which gives me a lot more time to just do what I want. Tragically, I'd like to go for the metal, but I don't think that's going to work so hot. Let's take a look at this. Composure to a random target. End of a turn. Wipe that out. Hit that. Uh, let's see. Boy, negotiating against this guy is rough. Okay, what else do we got? We still have Visionary Wind, but didn't work so hot. Do Pure Style, which does me surprisingly little good. 
idea should keep you. Okay, and I have visionary winds. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna pop it. Oh, that works out. Okay, that works. Oh, if you lose the negotiation, all is lost. So I don't really... I'm going to kind of ignore those. Let's see, what do we have? Do instincts. Gain attitude. Just... Oh, he's shielded. By what? Oh, destroy impending doom. To even just get access to it. Okay. I guess I'll threaten that. There's an option. Okay, and we'll do wide deflection. Perfect. Oh. Oh, let's see. Debate. Deploy bait. Expend. Nah. Let's just do debate. I might actually do solid here. Hey, thank you, Dexter, for the raid. Welcome on in. We are playing... Oh, boy. Pure style. Okay, visionary deflection. Let's start with that. Diplomatic instincts. Give me that. Give me the dominance. Get him for that. And we're playing uh, Griftlands. And surprisingly not getting our butt kicked. I, th I thought I'd be in trouble here. You're about to be assassinated and you're able to just debate your own death with the assassin? Yeah, apparently. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna... Blast that. Okay, so he's wailing on me, but that's fine. Hit that. Give myself a deflection. Quick thinking. Uh, let's see. Does that? I was really hoping that it would apply to me twice. It's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, he's getting impatient here, which is rough. We might not win this one. But I also kind of didn't really expect to win this one. That's rough. It's improvised plus. Bait's not gonna help me, is it? Yeah, so I gotta I gotta wreck that. Unfortunately he's giving me Oh, he's giving himself crazy amounts of armor here, which is Brutal. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting to win this one. I was mostly thinking in terms of... Uh... Let's see. Get a little bit more. I'm mostly thinking in terms of leveling up my negotiation cards. Yeah. Lost this one. But we get upgrades, so I'll take it. Uh, let's see, six composure. No, let's just go for the four. Fast talk. We just want to get rid of that. Obtuse and mean. Hell yeah. Yeah, gain two, two dominance. This is supposed to just one. These are not that helpful. So let's do hostile instincts. We're a fighter. <laughs> what if you tried to stab me and you missed? You make a good argument. Is that actually it's something that got said there? I was not paying full attention. Anyway, I haven't got all day. So, you really want to work for someone like that? Get paid extra. Alright, well, I'm in trouble. Kind of. But I kind of knew this was going to happen. Dude, he shot my dog! Alright. 
All right. Murder bait boxing. Luckily, I've gotten an amount of that. We've already hit him with a couple of wounds, so we might as well hit him with Halo Blades. I get the very distinct feeling that I am going to be uh, quite dead by the end of this, but that's okay. Okay. Get the prototype drone. Do Kadeshi faint. It's not the most helpful. And I don't want to spend my combo points that much. Okay. Let's take a look at this. I thought I was supposed to have that at the start. Oh. Give him the wound. Okay, let's apply defense. He's only hitting me for eight. Which puts me in kind of a nice spot. Do boosted rummage. Burn both of those. Because otherwise that would get real spooky. Real spooky real fast. Um. Go fight dirty. Power or defense? I'm going to go for the power. Here's the thing. We want the power. We got to kill him. And... He's only going to hit me for one. Yeah. Thank you, combo defense. So if I can keep scaling that up, I'm going to be in a ha happy spot. This is spookier. Okay. Oh, but he did hit me, which hurts. So do I go for the extra power, or do I f defend the drone? is the drone doing? It's applying a status effect to him. I guess I'm just going to do boosted tackle. That's about as useful as defending it. And we'll upper uppercut him just for the bonus damage. Okay, he's still going for the drone. And this time I can potentially defend it. Yep. Defend it. Boost to tackle. Okay, so he's only going to do three to it. And do we go for Bedlam? Probably. Yeah, because they do a lot of damage. Alright, I think we're good. Thank you for getting wildly distracted here. Okay. He's just doing a status effect. That works really well for me. Uh, it's... Stop... Makeshift dagger. Uppercut. And I'm just going to hit him with this spark grenade. Otherwise, I'm never going to use it. Got him. Please die. Alright. Pick a battle card. Any battle card. Switchblade. Add a copy of this card to your discard. Spin two combo. Draw a card. Nope. Six defense. Discard this card. Heal three. Oh, that's lovely. The rest of your turn, gain defense equal... Nope. Seeker. I got a lot of discards anyway, so that's super helpful. Whenever you destroy an argument, gain an action. Ooh. Whenever you play a diplomacy card, two composure to a random argument. Well, that would be lovely, except for no. I am too angry for this. Uppercut. Gain two power or make it cheaper. I'm going to make it cheaper. I'd love to go, go for this, but making it cheaper means I can actually use it in combination with other moves. Uh, let's see. Four defense draw cards, seven expend. No. I don't think I have the luxury for that. Hopefully the pupper comes back. It only ran. It didn't die. Gain two power while this is in your hand. Unplayable and replenish. Ooh! Alright. Hemby lies dead at your feet. Fish charges in the room, moving spryly for a Kradeshi at her age. That's the stranger I told you about. You alright, kid? Kashio sent them. 
Typical Cassio, leaving others to clean up her mess. It takes you a while to deal with the mess, but when you're done with it, it's cleaner than it was to start. There, complimentary house cleaning. Now you should sleep soundly, in theory. Fish stands guard by your door for the rest of the night, leaving you to catch up on your shut-eye. Draft reward. Okay. This is interesting. So, one action, but my cards... Uh, so, extra actions, but... Let's see. But I can't upgrade cards nearly as well. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by one until played. I almost feel like the boss charger is just as useful. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of the red bandana. Okay, you spend some time slapping together some makeshift security. If anyone comes through the windows now, you'll know about it. Your bed calls to you. When you were a kid, the adults used to talk in whispers, as if you couldn't taste the fear that came out of them. You dream of shadows. Alright, he dislikes me. Oh, but dislikes me doesn't actually mess with it. When you wake up, you almost think the grog is beginning to look homey. If you hadn't almost been murdered in it. You notice a large box. Spark barons get a stun gun. Yoink. Find fish behind the bar, rigging the bar top to snap with electricity. She turns off the current as you approach. You know customers drink at this bar, right? Customers ain't got nothing to worry about. But no more assassins on my watch. That's a guarantee. This will take a while to set up, so I want to go bother Ulo and see if you can get closer to Cassio. Got a job for you later if you're interested. She turns her back to the bar and flips the switch. Or turns back to her bar, flips the switch. Clearly, you've been dismissed. Well, that worked out. Alright, so what do we got? Another metal vendor, but I am I am pretty much metalless. Let's let's Ulu. Ulu. How are the gears of grind uh, gears of government today, Ulo? Still grinding? Jammed, I'm afraid, which means I have plenty of need for your skills. I got two jobs I could use you for. Since I don't hate you, I'll let you take your pick. Tunnel rats. Wipe out a bandit hideout deep in Partok Caverns or battle. Heard of Partok Caverns? Sounds familiar? I think it would have left an impression, if not a gaping hole in your side. The place is crawling with spree. Normally I'd leave them to their rat's nest, but apparently there might be runes under the caves, old ones, from before the plague. I've run it up the chain of command, but the Admiralty doesn't care. They're just happy to let the spree rot with the relics. The Hessians, on the other hand? What do you want me to do? I don't know the first thing about holy relics. But you do know about killing bandits. Wipe them out so the cult can send their send in their archaeologists. You do the killing, they do the, you know, dusting. Dusting. Crushing, clearing, digging. They're gonna dig. You got there eventually. And more graphs. Remember, no survivors. Except me, right? Yeah, I'll leave that up to your discretion. We gotta get some more uh some more graphs. Oh, these can be upgraded. Oh shit, that's that's good. Okay. Yeah, nothing else. Tunnel rats. Tunnel rats rule. Ulo marked the cave entrance on your map, but the wild countryside has you double checking the coordinates. If the caves are as deep as you heard, then the bandits might be hidden better hidden than maggots in a cheese rind. Fortunately for you, luck strikes. A bandit emerges from the bush. Clearly return from a brief break to nature's privy. Oh, I was just Wait, who are you? Dollar's eye snags on your Admiralty graft. You lost, Sarge. Only switches out here are the ones swinging from trees. Die! Okay. There's rooted steel. Okay. Only gonna hit me for five. Let's do a boosted rummage. See if we get anything fun. We did. Okay. So let's prototype drone. My dog didn't come back. Oh, that's good to know. Alright. Let's 
So let's see. What's she doing? She's attacking the drone. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll protect the drone a little bit. Let's get some more combo. And do we go for the sneak attack? Yes. Because as much as I'd like the extra combo, she's near dead. Okay, boost to tackle. And please die. Okay, what do we got? Murder Bay bo boxing again. Like, a second Murder Bay boxing is interesting. I'm really curious if that would just let me draw even more cards. I like the idea of this. I know I already have one, but if I had two, that could get really goofy. Concentrate would let me play some more expensive cards. I don't have that many two-cost two things, though. I only have two. Yeah, okay. Let's go with Let's go with Deception. There's actually a couple of cards where that's really good, too. Uh, let's go for the boosted bedlam. I just want to do damage. Another makeshift dagger. Reputation proceeding. I'm just... Boy, dollar is dead, which brings some satisfaction, but it's hard to convey your smugness to a corpse. Still no sense complaining now. You have a cave to explore. You're so deep in the Bartok Caves, you start to get a little reflective. Why are you here? What purpose do you serve? You kill some bandits, but then what? Is the meaning of life really... At the end of con uh, end of a contract, or is there something greater? Could you ever? Yeah. Lawson thought you knock your head into a stalactite. Whatever you were thinking about evaporates into the darkness as you rub your Shaking noggin. Gosh, damn it! You just shake the stars out of your eyes and keep exploring. You stumble around in the darkness looking for a lead. You turn a corner and only notice the luminari crouched in the shadows when it's too late to do anything but gawk. Ah, sort of. Uh, quiet. He holds up a blessed finger and waits in the darkness. You can't help but follow his lead. Finally, he looks you up and down. So cool, babe. But I'd heard the bandits. You're not one of them, I can tell at a glance. So My dear. name's Stolo. Cult of Hesh Luminari. That's all. Or Sal? Weird place to make an acquaintance, but here we are. You don't know the way to the bandit cave, do you? Actually, I do. I've been sent to catalog some of the runes in these caves. And to do what I can to safeguard them until the bandits were dealt with. Home. That's where I come in, and immediately get lost in these damn caves. I'll be dealing with those bandits the second I can find them. Point you in the right direction at least. There's only so long I can spend squatting among the mushrooms, counting old finger bones. Terrible way to meet new people, but here we are. Convince them to join you against the bandits. I'm. You know what? I'm not even going to try. Good luck safeguarding. But not to make too much of a mess. Likely as not, I'll be the one cleaning it up. Keep to the sh shallows, and Hesh will protect you. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, you hear strange noises in the darkness and ready your blade, hoping for bandits. Nope. It's a yote. It's two yote effects. But that's okay. Because here's the thing. I do damage. Uh, let's see. I don't actually know remember which one of these is more dangerous. However... Killing it gives a boost. Alright. Let's kill this guy first, then. Might as well just do follow-through. Not that I think it really matters here. Now, they are going to hit me. I have five defense. Let's do a deception. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the uppercut. 
Because I have to figure out how to kill that thing. Ow. Okay, it's only hitting me for one. Rain of Blades, got shot. Alright, so that'll get me some combo. Yeah, we have to get it low, but not trigger the threshold. No, damn it! Counterattack screwed me over. Well, it's fine. Ability. Gain one counter whenever you gain defense. Expand. Ooh. Kind of like that, actually. With that dealt with, you only hope the bandits don't put up much of a fight. Back in the main cave. See a light up ahead and investigate, but it's not long before the smell of sizzling meat hits you. And since stalactites and cave vermin aren't much known for their cookouts, you follow your nose to the bandits. Unfortunately, something they are must have told them you're coming to, because you round the corner and find yourself flat-footed. Where'd you think you're headed? Yeah, I was hoping to slink my way into a good position. Don't suppose you'd allow a do-over? Nope. Didn't think so. Oh boy. This looks like it's going to be fun. That's fine. Kill it. Uh, wreck the bug. Oh, bug has a bunch of defense, though. Okay. Let's go Deception. Okay, now they're only hitting me for five. Don't have any defense, so let's just heal back up to full. Okay. Been pinned. Frustrating. So let's take a look at this. First time Gani takes damage every turn, gain two defense. Gains five power when below 25 health, wanted dead, and revved up. Okay. So this guy's hitting me for 12. All right, he's stunned. Nope, not boosted Bedlam. I'm gonna do boosted tackle. Might as well do Seeker. Probably should have done Pale Uppercut, in retrospect. Alright. Looking like some damage here. Let's pop Spines. Faint. And get the drone out. I'm gonna take some damage here, but I'm not gonna take too much. Rude. But that's okay. Let's do daggers. Back twice, gain combo. Yeah. Hit him with a stab. Boost. Drop these two. And defend. Boy, I'm gonna need some healing after this. Okay, almost enough damage. And it did electro charge. Ow. Rude. Okay, he dead. Well. He ain't dead yet. Okay, only unable to attack for two turns. I don't have much that I can work with here. And I do not want to hit this guy for the moment. Oh, but he's gonna get hit. Alright, screw it. Best bet is to take them both out simultaneously. There we go. Good stuff. Didn't kill the bug, but I killed the other two guys. Alright, status cards co uh, cost an additional action in battle. 
Oh. I don't do that anyway. Wait, didn't I just kill Durno? No, I killed another dude. Okay. Three bonus damage if you have any combo. Gain combo. I like combination. Yeah, let's go combination. Okay, carve. So let's go tall carve. This only gives a little bit of bonus damage. I don't actually use carve nearly as much as I should. Next attack this turn deals maximum damage. It's not that good. Let's go for the faint. Piercing or discard a card. Let's go for the discard. Attack twice. And let's go for the Stab of Stone, actually. Boy, I have a lot. Okay. Oh, upgrade available. Gain two combo at the beginning of your turn. That's exactly why I want to hold on to that, because that's really strong. That means I can pretty much use every single one of my finishers every single round. And then hopefully we get uh, Skeletal Suspension upgrades soon enough. Metal, metal, makeshift dagger, makeshift dagger, and some money. And I'm dangerous again. Made quick work of the bandits, which is nice, because nothing else about this job was handled that neatly. Fortunately, you're able to find your way out by retracing your steps. You always had a good memory for mazes. Alright. And... I think, like, oh, did I never actually put up the stream announcement? No, I did. I did put up the announcement for today. That is good. Oh. We only have four people for first segment of Wholesome vs. Live today. I guess we do. Okay, so what are we doing? I have no idea what we're doing for Wholesome vs. Live today. That's okay. Well, I guess we can go turn this in at the very least. Okay, pummel party. Uh-oh. Okay, that actually... I need to care about that. Uh, how big is this game? I think we'll be fine. Okay. See Gasket cowering by the side of the road. Hannah. Gasket, is that you? It recognizes you and comes bounding over. Take back, Let's Gasket. Back. Come here, you. Okay. Take better care of her next time. That's really hard. Alright, let's turn this in. Well, look who it is. Cavern is all cleared out. Hope your researchers don't mind a few bodies in their way. Hey, they asked me to make it safe. Besides, it's got to be dirty work rooting up the past. If you're happy, I'm happy. Let's not get too crazy, but I'm satisfied at least. Get shields, gain metal. Cool, graft reward. If you're outnumbered, gain four defense and three counter at the end of your turn. Boy, that'd be lovely. But I think I'm just going to go for the shills. I'd, I'd love multiple of these. But I don't have enough slots. This this one especially would be really good. But what I've got is way too good. Yeah, six max resolve. It's nice, but I don't think the max resolve is going to make, make or break it. Okay. Done with you for the day. Cool. Alright. Well, we're going to have to finish this up later. Um... Oh, grooming and trading your pet. Admiralty orders and some other stuff. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna save and return the menu, and we'll pick this back up uh, either after Wholesome vs. Live or on Friday or something. I'm only forty percent of the way done with this run. Oh boy, I guess it makes sense, but oh boy.